Any interactions with Vince McMahon during your runs? Oh, yeah, a lot. Yeah, I, you know, like, I, I spent almost eight years with that company, you know, so, like, uh, yeah, I've, you know, been around them a lot, you know, so. Any advice, like, anything he, he told you that stuck in your head? It's, it's, <laughs> the main thing that stuck in my head is, like, Jimmy, the last time you was a KO, I didn't let you talk because you was a Korean dude with a southern accent. <laughs> this time we're going to make a negative out of positive. I'm going to make you the Asian redneck. <laughs> That's funny. And your name's going to be Wang Yang. Jimmy Wang Yang. That rhymes. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, whatever. As long as that check you- comes, yeah, <laughs> comes out every Monday, I do whatever you want. And That's then, how he pitched uh, it. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, you know, he, he paid me a lot of money for a few years. So it was like, you know, it was, it was great, you know, so. How did you end up coming back that time, though? Who, like, who was your end to come back? Uh, so th- that time I wasn't, I was in Ring of Honor and I wasn't expecting it back. So it's just, I know the story's been told a little bit lately, but like, uh, but they had a pay-per-view in Lexington. And I was in Cincinnati. So th- at the time, I was talking to this really hot blonde chick, you know, like she was hot, you know, and I was like, <laughs> oh, so you want to go see WWE, you know, I can get us some VIP treatment, you know, and, <laughs> you know, the, the whole, you know, you know, the working, whatever, you know, like, but that's, I was like, oh, impress this girl. So I went down to Lexington, you know, go backstage and like, I'm really there to get tickets and kind of, you know, score with this chick you know or girl i was trying to score this girl and then like uh vince me and vince crossed paths and he's like Joe, where the hell you been <laughs> uh you fired me <laughs> you know, what i did so i'll wait here i'll be back and talk to you in a little bit and then uh i'm still there trying to you know get tickets and all that kind of stuff and then uh they needed me in the ring. I said, hey, Jimmy, Jimmy, can, uh, can we use you real quick? Uh, we need you to do a spot in the ring. I'm like, what? I'm not, I'm not you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not here for that, but wow. Sure. But sure. But then I got to the ring and that was a pay-per-view when uh, Sean versus, uh, no, Vince versus God. Okay. Uh, and then Sean Michaels involved and the spirit squad comes down and they do their big bump to a table. Mm-hmm. And, and me and Sean are like the same size, so they wanted to make Sean feel comfortable. And they, Jimmy, you mind going through these three tables and get tossed up twenty feet? Man, what? I just want, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, uh, you know, I'm just here just to get laid. You know what? Well, that's a basic goal. That's like, <laughs> well, Wait, sure. So you you didn't work there. They have a whole locker room full of contracted talent, and they're asking you to go through three tables. That just sounds so freaking bizarre. And that's what even Michael Hayes, right before we did it, the rehearsal, Michael uh, told Vince, like, you think Jimmy should do it? You know he's not under contract. And he's like, he should be under contract. Let him do it. And it was like, and then they tossed me in there, went to the table and said, hey, yeah, Sean, it was, you know, it was, it was actually right. easier go, going through the tables and taking the bump on the mat, you know, and say, yeah, right. not too bad. Right. Like, oh, okay, cool. And then. Uh, then I was like, okay. Then I went back, got the tickets, and then they said, "Oh, Jimmy, so uh, what are you doing tomorrow?" I was like, "Uh, you know what I had planned for that night. You know, if that's if that was my plan." They said, "Oh, can you come to Raw in Columbus?" And I was like, "Ah, uh, I guess so." <laughs> you know. And then I went up there, had a match with Charlie Haas. I uh, had a really good Sunday Night Heat match, and then it, my plans that night was, you know, to do whatever. And then they say, oh, well, can you come to Cincinnati tomorrow? And that's where I live at. So I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, I'll come to Cincinnati. And by the time I walked in the door, they grabbed me, offered me a new contract. Wow. And then that meeting with Vince, I was like, man, I got to go thank Vince. Like, this is my actually my uh, third time with the company at that time. So I knock on the door and say, hey, I knock on the door. And Vince, come on in. I say, hey, Vince, I just want to appreciate, you know, thank you for hiring me at this for the third time, he's oh, I didn't know you were fired or whatever. But this time, <laughs> you know, then that story, you know. So, so did you ever end up uh, hooking up? Oh yeah, come on, man. <laughs> I got the first, you know. So, but I just had to put business first and get get through that crazy weekend, and then it was a good good week for your boy. <laughs> good. That's awesome. 
how'd they start teaming you up with Shannon Moore? Uh, I think basically they didn't have nothing for us, <laughs> you know. So, right. but you know, like, uh, or I, I don't know, like, uh, you know, it's just I don't know if they were. I think it was, uh, you know, they wasn't doing much with Shannon, and you know, so and. I didn't have a storyline or anything going on at the time. And I said, oh, let's put Jimmy and, Jimmy and Shannon together. And really, that team, uh, what, you know, was kind of grooming the Miz and Morrison for their next thing. And so let's pair them up with uh, Jimmy and Shannon. And we were married to them for like six, seven, eight months on the road, helping groom them to get to the next or their next steps in their career. You know, so. How'd you like working yeah. with the Miz? Oh uh, yeah, he was he was really good. Like that's the thing I always liked the Miz. You know, like even at the beginning when he first came in and the you know real world guy etiquette and all that kind of stuff. But my personal relationship with him, like he's always was really respectful, like nice dude, ask questions. Like I was like, oh, I actually like this guy. I know everybody else is like oh threatened or whatever. He comes from MTV and right. F, the, F that dude. He doesn't belong in here. But my personal reaction was like, I don't, I don't, I'm not a bandwagon guy, you know. So I'm like, no, I met him. I like him, you know. And uh, and then when we were wrestling, he listened to everything I did, trusted me, and and kind of, you know, like he was there and he worked hard and he he took a lot of shit, you know. So that kind of makes me respect him more and say, 99. <clears throat> you said other people would not take that and they would have quit a long time ago and definitely back then with the people that were in that locker room at that time like you know there's plenty of time plenty of, there's plenty of stories when people quit WWE because of the people that was in the locker room at that time you know so right so tell us what, what are you doing today let's uh let's get people up to date what are you doing today and yes. uh how can people get a hold of you so now, you know, I have a 20-year-old daughter now. So that's, wow. that's how old I am. Uh, Jazzy Yang, and she's like, you know, the next generation of Yang. She, you know, my, I'm, on, I'm on my way out of wrestling. She's started, she's in, in this, starting her, not starting, but she's been in it for a few years. Um, she, uh, to me, I think she's already better than me. At, she's 20 years old. She's better than me at 20. And I was in WCW, you know, so it's like, or all Japan. Like, uh, you know, I really like, I know I'm dad, so I'm kind of biased, you know, but you, you can check her out, you know, jazzyyang.com. Uh, we just posted our 2022 matches on vimeo.com backslash jazzyyang backslash VOD underscore pages. I know that's kind of a lot, <laughs> you know, but you can find her on social medias like uh, Twitter at Jazzy Wang Yang, Facebook Jazzy Wang Yang. But basically, if you go to the site, jazzygang.com you can find all the links uh to our show, social media and you can tell me what you think of her <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Like, you know like For everybody sure. but uh, yeah that's awesome anyway people can get in touch with you uh if you want to get in touch with me you have to go through her <laughs> you know so like jazzygang.com if you you know we'll be uh at wrestlecon at the end uh during wrestlemania week we got a few appearances over there with pro wrestling unplug uh micro wrestling uh on in hollywood and then wrestlecon and then we got a few other surprises i can't tell you that now but like we'll be out there um yeah jazzyang.com get to me uh, go through her to get to me all that kind of stuff